Hello everybody. Well, I'm back. Uh, if you like my channel, please click the like button. And if you would like to subscribe, I would appreciate it very, very much. And please share. If you find an article that's interesting, please share it. You know, that's okay. And here we go with another one. But this is in Hawaii. Mm. Another day. Another corrupt Democrat has been caught breaking the law. Now, this is going to remind you of what we're going through right here in, in our state right now, or in our country, uh, with our ex-president. Yeah. A prominent Hawaii Democrat was sentenced to 40 months in prison for taking bribes in exchange for shaping le legislation while in office. Former Democratic Senate Minority Leader Jay Kalani English pleaded guilty to, to uh, on services wire fraud earlier this year, admitting in court that he accepted bribes from a Hawaii business owner in exchange for shaping legis legislation that would benefit a company involved in publicity finance, publicly financed cesspool conversion projects. English must surrender to authorities and begin serving his sentence on August the 16th. Now I'm going to try to slide this over just a hair. There we go. Uh, English peddled the power and influence of his position as a Hawaii state senator majority leader to enrich himself. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? and betray and trust bestowed upon him by those he was elected to serve. U.S. prosecutors said in sentencing, sentencing, sentence, sentencing, oh, sentencing, there we go, memo. <laughs> I got to move this over just a hair, urging the judge to send him to prison for three and a half years. Prosecutors argued that the sentence needed to send a stern and lasting message that corruption of elected officials will be punished. I hope this serves as a message to everyone in government that there can be no tolerance of unethical conduct. House Speaker Scott Sekai said in a statement issued after U.S. District Judge Susan Oki Mal Malway sentenced English. As the investigation pro uh, progressed, it became astoundingly clear that no matter the legislative acts, the answer from English would almost certainly be yes. English's behavior signaled that it was semantically normal for him to accept and indeed expect financial benefits in return for legislative favors. Assisting U.S. Attorney Kenneth Sorison wrote in a censoring memorandum. She also imposed a $100,000 fine and ordered that he be subject to three years of supervision after he serves his time, according to English attorney Richard Singh, who declined to comment on the sentence. English began communicating with person A about cesspool in 2019 and accepted cash and hotel rooms from person totaling about $18,000, the memo by Singh said. Singh also wrote that English, who represented East Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, Lanai, was a compassionate and dedicated advocate for the rural communities and individuals he represented including Native Hawaiians. English, who announced he was retiring last year due to health issues, praised former President Barack Obama not too long ago. Hawaiians love Obama. He is one of us. He understands what aloha is. He understands what mana is, English said. And the Democratic Party may just be getting started. Choi is a prof prolific donor 
as are his immediate family members and business associates. Choi, his family members, and his employees from various companies have donated more than $356,000 to political campaigns since 2014, according to campaign finance data. Of that, Choi has contributed more than 160000 to the elections and re-elections of numerous Democrats. <clears throat> that is a lot of money. Choi himself has donated to 55 campaigns, including 29 sitting lawmakers since 2014. Money has gone to former Governor Neil Abercrombie, current Governor David Igge, I-G-E, I-G-E, he has most recently contributed to former Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell's campaign for governor and to Honolulu's Mayor, mayor Rick Blangengardis campaign. Wow. Quite a few Democrats have been arrested in the past year. This was New York Democrat arrested on cocaine possession charges third in two years. CA Democrat Rep. Rep. Representative, I take it, Judy Chu, C-H-U, arrested at Capitol during a pro-choice protest. New York Democrat Lieutenant Governor arrested. Democrat legislator arrested. Months after being caught in another scandal. Monk shot at Nancy Pelosi's husband is released from his DUI arrest. Oh my goodness. Original article, Hawaiian Senate Dem Majority Leader gets three years in prison for bribery. Oh my goodness. My, 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 my. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you know, there's good and bad in everybody. <clears throat> you just can't blame one. There's always more than one doing, doing what they're not supposed to be doing. Let's slide this back over. It's really kind of sad, isn't it? When, when you trust these people in Congress, leaders of your state, providence, whatever, and they really mess up. You know, it, it's, it actually hurts in a way. It really does. Ted Cruz announces the epic plan. Leftists will hang it. The number of people who cross the border is increasing due to the lack of control over the southern border. In response, Republican leaders have started sending illegal immigrants to sanctuary cities. Ted Cruz suggested that some of the country's Democratic-controlled cities should also be targeted. Well, that's only fair, after all. <clears throat> Biden brought him. He opened the door. The Daily Wire reported that Senator Ted Cruz urged Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to send illegal immigrants to liberal areas following DeSantis' decision to send them to Martha's Vineyard. Now, wasn't that awful the way that place treated those immigrants? And then I can't remember the other place, but... What they gave them to eat was Cheerios and Fruit Loops. <laughs> how, how sad is that? In a series of tweets, the Texas senator urged the governors of Florida and Texas to send illegal immigrants to places such as California, Massachusetts, and Nantucket. In response to the growing number of people crossing the border illegally, Senator Ted Cruz introduced the Stop the Exploitation and Surveillance Act of 2018. He asked the president to establish 13 new entry points for communities across the country. These new ports of entry would be established in liberal, liberal areas such as Martha's Vineyard, Block Island, Green, Greenwich, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. During an interview on Fox News, Cruz criticized the political left for supporting the sending of 50 illegal immigrants to Martha's Vineyard. He said this would demonstrate the hypocrisy of the left. Well, <clears throat> Despite the growing number of people crossing the border illegally, 
Senator Ted Cruz criticized the political left for playing politics. He said that the Democrats are not doing enough to address the border crisis and are only going to continue letting it get worse. I believe that. I could be wrong, but I do believe that. Biden ain't even been to the border. What does that tell you? Kamala Harris. Did she ever make it to the border? I don't know. Who did make it to the border? I can't remember. If you remember who did go to the border, uh, put that in a comment. Because God bless them. At least they had the guts to go and do what the president and the vice president should have been doing all along. You know, he believes that the government will start taking action once the migrants enter the cities. And that's it. Yep, that's it. How sad. Well, I'm going to do some more looking and reading and see what I can come up with. And I might do one more video um, before I call it a night because I'm not really that tired. No, I've had a good day today. It's, it's been all right despite <laughs> three videos out the window. I had to uh, look them back up and redo them. And I see another one that I just lost, and I'm going to redo that. So I will be back a little bit later. Say your prayers. Stay safe. And just go with the flow. Remember that song? I love that song, Go With The Flow. All right, laters. Bye. I never know which way to wave. I got one side over here and one side over here and it's all full and the camel's down there and whatever. <laughs> okay, later. Hang in there. Bye-bye.